David, sorry, we were talking about lionesses and their hunting strategy. And I don't think that they have definitive roles. I think that they decided on the spur of the moment, depending upon who is where, and who actually managed to jump up on the back of the buffalo, for example, or which lioness has to brave the front. A lot of the time the hunt will be led by more experienced lionesses, but I've noticed that when sub-adult lionesses get to sort of adult age, they start to initiate the hunt more and more frequently, I think, to practice, to be completely honest with you. I think that instinct really, truly kicks in at that point. And a lot of research is being done into the black back of their ears and the way in which they use that to direct their attentions and where they go and what they do. Like arrows or hand signals. Like hand signals, like a SWAT team using hand signals, except it's their ears. And we've got some fierce predator action happening from the cub side, pinned to the ground. I'm, I suspect we've got two males and a female in this particular group, although the change isn't, I mean, the difference isn't terribly noticeable at this point. Aubrey, Aubrey. Uh, what's your position? Oh, sorry, Orbs. I wasn't sure if those tracks would lead in here, but keep coming north, along in Yala Road North, and I'll tell you when I've got your audio, because I got your audio, but you're too far south. Sorry, guys, just directing Aubrey into the sighting. Oh, little cubs. We finally got a chance to have a snack now that that male has moved off. And I think that the other females... <laughs> Look at this one trying to climb, clamber up the mountain buffalo. Mount buffalo. <laughs> Mount buffalo is definitely... A little bit too big of a climb right now for such little such a little creature and as sharp as your teeth are you are not going to break through the skin there okay oops I've got your audio just keep coming A grisly scene, and yet at the same time, kind of a really contented family scene. <laughs> one of those strange, I don't know what one would call it, dichotomies of life. Little cubs feeding happily away at a buffalo carcass. I don't, the other cubs are further up outside of the drainage line, as I said, and I don't think the female wants to risk bringing them down here with the males behaving as aggressively as they are. They're still a little bit young. But it was fascinating to watch that whole scene play out and how defensive the mother became, and the little cubs rushing to her side. Not that the males would harm the cubs, as we discussed with Michael's question. They're more likely to harm the females than they are to harm cubs that they think are their own. You little one. Now, deja vu. Welcome to the Sunrise Safari. This is such a, such a weird scene. So adorable and yet so grisly at the same time. Deja vu would like to know, is it learned behavior or instinctive behavior? I actually really need to use the game drive comments, but sorry, just bear with me one second. It is instinctive. Uh, it seems 
Brenzes, though, our might be breaking up. I'm going to to Brent.